just want to do a shout out to Gold Teresa really quick. I released this video earlier and they pointed out that I made a mistake regarding the control voltage ports. Thank you, Gold Teresa. I really appreciate it and I've updated the video. The Boomstick by Volt is one of my favorite low pass filters. A low pass filter reduces or attenuates the amplitude of frequencies higher than a particular cutoff point and lets all the other lower frequencies pass through it. This gives the timbre of your sound a pleasant, warm quality. Here are some examples of what the boomstick can sound like. This knob sets the cutoff point of the filter. All the way right allows most of the frequencies through, and all the way left allows the fewest. Most of the time I have this knob set between 50 and 75%. Here's how a sweep of it sounds. Both of these control voltage inputs control the cutoff of the filter, and these are their associated attenuverters. The resonance knob here controls the amount of emphasis around the cutoff frequency of the filter. It boosts the frequencies around the cutoff point and can make a whistling type sound when it's maxed out. Here's the analyzer, and here's the sweep of the resonance knob. This is the drive knob. It modifies the volume of the signal coming from your sound source. This way you can control the amount of overdrive and push the sound to distortion or keep it clean. Here's how it sounds. These two parameters don't have control voltage inputs, however we can still modulate them by utilizing the CV map by Stower Melder and the merge module. The CV map allows you to modulate any parameter of any other module and accepts a polyphonic signal. We just click in this space and then click on the parameter that we would like to modulate. It'll get a little dot next to it verifying that you've selected that parameter. We then connect the merge module. The channel here corresponds to the input you've mapped on the CV. We then feed a control voltage and boom they're modulating. Now let's make a simple sound that utilizes the boomstick. You can just download it too if you want, link in the description. I have my template patch here. It has a mixer, aux bander, delay, reverb, and the audio out. If you want to adjust your template, you can set the modules that you like, then go to File and hit Overwrite Template. Now those modules will be there whenever you start a new patch. I'm going to make it so this sound plays with my QWERTY keyboard. So let's pull out the MIDI to CV. Click here where it says ALSA and turn that to Computer Keyboard slash Mouse. Now we need an ADSR and a VCA. These are an envelope generator and a voltage controlled amplifier respectively. I'm going to use the Pony Voltage Controlled Oscillator by Bifaco as our sound source because I really like this little guy. I did a video on it, check it out if you like small modules with big sounds. And finally our Boomstick Low Pass Filter. I'm going to connect the volt per octave output here to the volt per octave input on the Pony. I'm using a yellow cable because I like to color code my cables. I'm using the color cable key by Inklin to color my cables quickly. When you press and hold the numbers listed here on your keyboard, it pulls the cable of that color. So I just hold two and pull a cable and boom, it's yellow. Next is the gate cable from the gate output on the MIDI to the ADSR gate. I'm going to use a blue cable for this one. You can adjust the envelope however you want and I encourage you to be experimental. I'm going to set mine like this, and here's a close-up. I connect the envelope output to the input on the VCA. The pony output goes first to the boomstick so it can be filtered. And then the output from the boomstick goes to the input of the VCA. I use red cables for audio information.
drop the octave on the pony and change the wave to sawtooth. Finally, the VCA goes to the mixer, and here she is. I'm playing it on my QWERTY keyboard, and here's how it looks. This is cool, but like not really that cool, so let's make it cooler. I'm going to bring in another ADSR. You can get another ADSR quickly by just duplicating this one. You just click Ctrl D while hovering over it. Now hold Ctrl and drag the gate output from the MIDI module to the gate input of the new ADSR, and put the envelope out to the CV1 input. I'm going to adjust the envelope and the attenuverter to taste. Here are my settings, but I want to encourage you to let your creativity flow and adjust these however you want. It's fun to mess with this kind of stuff. That's it for this one. If you like this kind of content, you can let me know that by liking and subscribing, and of course checking out my other content. I have a Kofi page linked in the description that you can check out if you want some sound effects. I sell sound effects on other web pages, but they are listed here on the Kofi page for free. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. I hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.